Many kids and their parents have been waiting for this moment, a chance to finally play competitive sports again. And it's the first weekend since August of last year they were allowed to do so. Now many restrictions are in place, but there's one that some parents aren't too thrilled about. Nikki Schenfeld explains. The kids are happy to be back out on the field, but it's mixed feelings for adults as spectators are not allowed near the field. So many are showing up early to get a front row seat to watch the game from their cars. This while coaches are utilizing technology to ensure everyone can watch the game from a distance. I don't know if this is a league game or it's a scrimmage game, but either way, it's a game and that's all that matters. It's great to have the kids out. You can just feel the energy here, you know, they're so happy to be out. But there are a lot of restrictions, but, you know, still, it's for the kids and we're, we're happy to be here. Under city rules, players, coaches and staff must wear a face covering at all times. No socializing before or after the game and no spectators or fans near the courts or field. We also have to, you know, practice social distancing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to extend the, the dugout so that we can have the kids sit spaced out. I think the rules are hard for the parents more so than the kids. So and there, there's a lot of things, but for the parents, they have to stay up in the parking lot. Usually they're sitting right here watching their children play. Leagues have sent out emails to remind adults to play by the rules because the consequences can be harsh. Three strikes and you're out one day of play. A fourth strike and your permit is suspended for a week. And after the fifth violation, your permit is taken away. Probably going to be the easiest way to shut the sports down. So we're going to have to follow the rules and uh, we can do it though. It can be done. One alternative is to live stream the game so everyone can watch. That um, live feed is going to be huge. You know, I think it's going to be, and once, once people see it and see how interactive and, and personable it can be, um, I think they'll enjoy it. For now, the stands have moved to the tailgate. It was just really quiet, like eerily. I mean, full game going on, refs out there, girls out there running around. But it was just so quiet. There was like one family that was like honking when they made a goal. So, I mean, there's, they're finding ways to make it work because it's more important for the kids to get out than it is for us to be sitting in next to the field. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.